One Champions League semi-finalists, UEFA Cup winners in 1997, and knocking out reigning Champions League winners Inter 7-3 on aggregate in 2011, Schalke were a dominant team many years ago, and having been relegated to the Bundesliga 2, winning the Bundesliga 2, and then being relegated back to the Bundesliga 2 within a three-season period, Schalke now see themselves sat in the bottom half of the Bundesliga 2, and in today's video we will be taking over Schalke to get them back to the Bundesliga, whilst also aiming to get our hands on that Champions League trophy. But without further ado, let's get into Season 1 with Schalke, make sure to drop a like on the video, hit subscribe if you're new around here, and make sure to drop a comment with any teams you want me to rebuild in future videos, all feedback is really appreciated on this channel. Without further ado, let's jump in to Season 1. For this Schalke rebuild, we have decided to go for the Tick Attacker Tactical Preset. I'm also going to be playing the 4-4-1-1 formation. I'm playing with the left mid and the right mid, two central midfielders with a centre attacker mid in behind the striker. We only really have an £8 million budget here for the first season with Schalke. It's not the greatest, but I think I can work with this. I'm also going to look at the squad and see if we can sell off any players that aren't going to play for us. We have our first signing of this Schalke rebuild. It is going to be a right midfielder. I feel like that was the position that I needed to improve in this first season. Irankunda comes in from Bayern Munich for £2.5 million. Only 18 years of age, 70 overall. I think it's a really, really good pickup to start this Schalke rebuild. He will be playing right midfield for us, £2.5 million spent. 18 years of age is the key here. Very cheap, and I think he's going to be a really good player. We have made our second signing of this Schalke rebuild. It is going to be a left midfielder. Like I said before, the right midfield slot was what I wanted to improve. Same with the left-hand side. I think this player is going to be really, really good for us. Bundesliga experience is none other than Kevin Paredes from Wolfsburg for £5.5 million. 21 years of age, 73 overall. Those two on the screen right now are going to be our new wingers, left and right-hand side as well. So this is going to be the season one lineup for Schalke. We've got Hoffman in goal. The back line, I really like the look of this Sanchez at centre-half. Only 20 years of age, he's already a 68 overall. We've got the Englishman, Merkin, at left-back. 25 years old, 87 pace as well. We've got two older midfield players to really have some experience in the midfield. With new signings, Paredes and Arunkuda on the wings 94 pace on the 18 year old i think those two are going to be really really key for us to try and get promotion this season yunez is our central attacker midfielder the 71 overall cam 31 years of age he's probably going to have one season with us playing in the second division i think experienced players is really really key Karaman is going to be the striker for the season i think he's similar to yunez but he's going to have one more season with us and then he's probably going to be looking to the bench silly out or a new transfer and let's just jump straight into season one that is the end of season one as you can see Schalke have finished sixth it's not the ideal start to this Schalke rebuild finishing sixth in the Bundesliga 2 15 wins 8 draws and 11 losses 53 points and there's still a gap between third and second and even first I mean look at the gap between the top three and us Cologne obviously won the league there as you can see and have been promoted to the Bundesliga of course Unfortunately, guys, we got knocked out of the first round of the DFB Polka Cup. That is the German Domestic Cup. The Stuttgart 2. Not even the main Stuttgart, the second Stuttgart. The final of that one is Bayern Munich against Uni Berlin. The game hasn't been played yet. The relegation playoff for the Bundesliga and Bundesliga 2 is Augsburg against Hamburg. Again, that hasn't been played. So hopefully next season that can be us or we try and win the league next year. I want to go over the stats for the season. Perriman was our star player. Obviously, we didn't really do anything with it. 19 goals and 3 assists. Assists. A couple of other players like these two backup strikers getting amongst the goals. Apart from that, guys, we didn't really have any standout players. So realistically, overall, it's a bit of a disappointing season. We kind of want to be chasing that promotion, but we can try and do that in season two. I think we could try and do with a couple more signings. I don't want to sign too many players in the first season. We can kind of see where we're at. We're in like the top six sort of position. So now we're going to go into season two, sign a couple more players, and we're going to chase that promotion to the Bundesliga. Schalke have made their first signing of season two and is a new holding midfield player i did decide to go out and get one he's gonna be a young talent for us it is noah and bamba from Bayer leverkusen 2.6 million pounds spent on him 20 years of age 69 overall really like the look of him and just the team that we got now in the central midfield role we just they're just quite old and just like not very good so i've decided to invest in some youth and bamba is the first signing of season two we have gone out and got ourselves a new striker for Schalke from the Bundesliga. Jonathan Mullin has come from Frankfurt for £8.3 million. He is an 18-year-old talent. I really like the 
look of him. My, one of my scouts actually recommended him. 18 years of old, 74 overall. He looks like an absolute beast. And he is our biggest transfer fee that we have bought so far. He will be playing up front for us this season, hopefully getting a lot of goals for us. The latest signing for Schalke has come in from the Bundesliga. It's a new centre attacker midfielder. Tom Bischoff is coming in to play for us at centre attacker midfield. From Hoffenheim for £3.3 .3 million. The 20 year old comes in to play centre attacker mid. £3.3 .3 million spent. I think he's a really, really good young talent. And what we've done in this window, we've sold a lot of the older players at just getting old and not really going and are not really growing into the ratings that we want so we've decided to bring in some young players to really bolster them and try and improve them at Schalke so then guys this will be the team for season two as you can see the new signings Mbamba, Bischoff and Moulin are in the squad Paredes on the left Arancuda on the right Sanchez at the back 21 years of age 70 overall now still got Hoffman in goal Merkin is still there at left back so it's pretty much the same team with the three new additions of Mbamba, Bischoff and Moulin. I'm really looking forward to this season and I'm hoping that we can try and get promoted to the Bundesliga this time round. So without further ado, we're going to dive straight into Season 2 of Schalke. Season 2 and as you can see, Schalke have finished third. Now I'm pretty sure that means we get into the relegation playoff against someone from the top division coming down and whoever wins goes in or stays in the Bundesliga. So... That is really exciting news. 17 wins, 11 draws and 6 losses. A massive improvement from last season's 6th place finish. We unfortunately got knocked out of the DFB Polka again, but we made it to the second round this time. As you can see, we won 4-0 in the first round. Then we lost 2-1 in the second round to St. Pauli. Unfortunately, that is not what you want to see. But I mean, it's an improvement from last season. And we have done it. We have won the relegation playoffs against VFL Bochum. Really nice to see. First leg was 2-0 by the looks of it because it was 0-0 on that one really really happy of that absolutely buzzing so that means we will be in the bundesliga in the third season with schalke massive achievement I'm really really happy of that wow look at the goals on this mullen got 40 games 28 goals and 10 assists he's already up to a 77 overall one absolutely insane player he is only 19 years of age i'm sure big clubs will be coming in for him next season arankunda 37 games 22 goals and two assists from the right hand side that is an absolutely insane return for a right midfielder bischoff the new signing 36 games 18 goals and 14 assists another player who's done absolutely insane for us Paredes unfortunately only getting six goals and five assists but that is an improvement from last season he's actually doubled pretty much his games as well and then again just a lot of players just really just not really getting many goals and Bamba getting himself two goals and four assists from CDM what a season for some of these players at Schalke but now we need to move on from this season promotion to the Bundesliga is here we need to really try and bolster this squad I mean there's a lot of players in here that are good enough but a lot of players aren't going to be good enough for the Bundesliga the main aim for next season is to stay up in the Bundesliga so without further ado let's dive in to season three season three has come to an end guys and Schalke have finished 11th life back in the top flight of the Bundesliga has been pretty good to us 40 points, 11th place, slap bang in the middle pretty much. I really, really am happy with that. As you see, Dusseldorf getting relegated and Hamburg alone in the playoff. And the Leverkusen have won the league. Wolfsburg coming second, Munich, Leipzig, Dortmund follow. But back to Schalke, absolutely buzzing with 11th place. But if you look at the table, we're only five points off eighth place. We got knocked out in the DFB Polka once again in the second round. Heard of Bremen beating us 4-2 after penalties. So then, once again, Mullin is the top player of the season. 20 goals and 8 assists in 38 games is absolutely amazing. He is seriously a really, really good talent. I'm sure we're going to be getting transfer bids next season for him. 79 overall now. Arankuda, again, 9 goals, 4 assists for him. He's up to a 74 overall. Ishkov is already up to a 75. 6 goals, 2 assists for him out of 38 games. We're just getting on the goals, 3 goals with 7 assists in 37 games. Paredes once again injured, 3 goals and 2 assists. I'm tempted to go out and get a new left mid next season. Kaiser, one of our youth academy players, actually got 2 goals and played 15 games. Really, really nice to see. 67 overall. Obviously, he's got a long way to go in terms of the ratings, but it's really nice to see the youth academy players 
getting some game time and also getting on the goal sheet. So that concludes season three. Not a bad finish in terms of being back in the Bundesliga. A mid-table finish for Schalke in the first season. But we've got a lot of goals to achieve. We want to be getting into those European spots and trying to get our hands on that DFB Polka Cup. So now we're going to move into season four. Like I said, I'm looking at maybe picking up a new left mid. Paredes has been injured quite a lot over the past two seasons. But regardless of that, we're going to dive into season four now. And hopefully we can try and strengthen this Schalke side. So then guys, the season four transfer window has finished and we have been pretty busy once again. Marco John was the first player we signed and he has come in to play at right back. Marcus Thomas is the other one that has come in. He is going to be playing left back. I did decide to upgrade the defense. I looked at the defense from last season. The two center backs are really, really good. But I just think the left back and right back needed upgrading and John and Thomas are going to be coming in to fill those roles. As you can see, we've also sent out three players on loan. Fisher and Zimmerman are actually from the youth academy. Just need to get them some game time as to as kaiser uh, we sold donko for 1.6 million to norwich and the other ones are just loans for play squad players that just aren't really getting any game time so that is the season four window over really happy with the two new signings left back and right back is what we needed and that's what we got so this is how your season four lineup is going to be looking going into the new season really really happy with it the new right back and the new left back do come in and overall this squad is starting to grow you know we signed a lot of these players when they were like low 70 rated and look at them now, you know, some of them like Mullen, look at that, 80 rated. I think he's going to be one of the best strikers in this save. I've already been rejecting bids from like Chelsea, Man City for like 45, 50 million pounds. I do believe that I could easily get him up to an 85 overall. And then he's going to be worth like hundreds of millions. Then we might potentially think about selling him. So that will be your team for season four. I'm looking really forward to getting stuck into the season. Obviously trying to improve from last season's finish. I really think this squad is going to be really, really good. So without further ado, do. let's dive in to season four so we come to the end of season four guys and Schalke have finished 10th you know what it's not actually a bad season once again we are floating around that mid table kind of area finishing on 47 points but when you look up the table into four, where Mudge and Gladbach finish with a 55, we're actually not that far away. I really do believe, give it another season or two, we will be definitely challenging for that top four. As you can see, Leverkusen won the league, only lost one game in the whole season. Mainz, Freiburg, both gone down to the Bundesliga 2. We got knocked out in the round two once again in the DFB Polka Cup. Really disappointing. We need to try and get better results in this tournament because we're just not getting anywhere. We haven't got past second round once yet in this whole rebuild once again it's the moulin show 20 goals 10 assists he's absolutely killing it for us Bischoff with 12 goals, 8 assists. I'm really, really liking the look of him. Arankunda, 9 goals this season. No assists for him. Paredes, 5 goals, 2 assists. And then there's just a bunch of just random like 1 or 2 goals here and there. Overall, 10th place finish for Schalke. Mullen getting the goals once again. I'm sure people will be after him this coming transfer window. But I'm reluctant to sell him. I'm trying to keep him for as long as I can until I get one of those massive hundreds of millions of pounds deals. But nonetheless, another 10th place finish. But nevertheless, we have finished 10th happy with that i really think this squad is coming together now the younger players are starting to grow older and gel together which is good to see i think this season we're going to try and push on for trying to get a conference league spot so without further ado that is the end of season four and let's dive in to season five the first signing of season five is here it is going to be a new left midfielder justin deal has come in from stuttgart for 11.5 million pounds 23 years of age 76 overall i've been looking for a new left mid paredes just isn't good enough he keeps getting injured and he just really isn't improving so i've gone in and got in deal he is going to be playing left mid for us really excited with this signing 11.5 million pounds german left mid 76 overall and only 23 years of age we have made our next signing in season five. It is going to be a new centre back. I feel like we just didn't really have much squad depth in terms of the central defender. So that is why we have brought in Goes for £7.5 million from Brighton. I really did like the look of him, 76 overall, and he's 24 years of age. I think he's going to go well with the two centre-backs we already have. And for £7.5 million, a rotational centre-back, I mean, you can't really complain, can you? So the Season 5 transfer window has come to an end, and this is going to be the lineup for Season 5. Loretta's is now up to an 80 rated. I'm really happy with this, and he's still only age 25. I think he's going to be a really, really good keeper for us. 
John comes in at right back, 77 overall, the German right back. He's actually doing all right. He's gone up a couple of ratings already. Sanchez, 24 years of age. He has been here from the start and he's still climbing up the ratings. Really impressed with him. Rubio as well, 24 years of age. Still got that pace as the centre back, 75 overall. He's climbing the ratings as well. Thomas, the left back, the German, 21 year old. Still 72 rated, but I mean, it's not too bad. We also have a couple of youth players that are, you know, starting to get on. We still have a couple of youth players as well that are starting to climb the ratings. So he actually needs to be careful just in case someone else, can, just in case someone takes his place. And Bamba still there, 23 years of age, 74 overall now. He's really, really impressing me. Bischoff, 78 overall. Really, really happy with him. 23 years of age. He's only going to get better. Mullin, obviously amazing, amazing striker. 21 years of age, 83 overall. I had a, I rejected a bid from Barcelona for 98 million. I just want to keep him as long as I can. But I am sensing that we're maybe going to have to start thinking about selling him. If he, if he gets like a £150 million plus bid, I might sell him just to reinvest into this squad. But that is the team for season five. Really hope we can try and maybe go on a cup run and climb the table to maybe the top six. Where we can try and get ourselves into the conference league. But without further ado, let's crack on with season five of Schalke. Wow, would you look at that, guys? Schalke have finished fifth in the Bundesliga. 17 wins, six draws and 11 losses. 57 points. And realistically, we're only, we're only a couple of points away from fourth and third for that Champions League spot. Finishing fifth is a massive improvement from last season, finishing 10th. And we now have European football football Europa League will be at Schalke and I'm really looking forward to that because some of these players have been with us since the start and they deserve some European football unfortunately once again we got knocked out in round two against Augsburg in the DFB Polka I really need to try and think about how we're going to do this because we just keep getting knocked out in the second round every time we're into the fifth season now. We're going into the sixth as well. No trophies as of yet. And this is kind of the only one realistically at the moment that we can get our hands on. Hertha Berlin and Hannover both going down to the Bundesliga 2. And Bayern Munich have won the league instead of Leipzig this season. Once again, it's that man, Moulin, with 21 goals, 10 assists. Bischoff closely behind him with 19 goals and 10 assists. Justin Deal, 34 games, 11 goals and 1 assist in his first season with us. Really happy with that. Just getting 8 goals and 9 assists from CDM is actually a really, really good return. 81 overall now for the 29 year old captain. Arankada once again, 7 goals, 6 assists. Doing actually really, really well for us on that right hand side. He came when he was 18. He's now 23 and 78 overall. Really like the look of him. Nice to see one of our academy graduates getting a goal in the cup competition. Kaiser also getting two goals in the Bundesliga. Another one of our talented youth academy players. So that concludes season five. Really, really happy with the finish that we got. Fifth place, European football next season. You can't ask for much more than that. That man, Moulin once again i really do think it is maybe time to sell him but i just don't want to but anyway we're going to decide that in season six which is where we're going to head right now the season six transfer window is now closed and we have been really busy once again guys paredes has left and gone to budjung gladbach for 5.4 million pounds he asked to leave and i sold him i'll take the money while i could he didn't really impress me i thought he was going to be quite good for me when i originally signed him but it just didn't work out here Merkin, the backup left back 2.4 million to nonce i'll just take the money he wasn't playing for us anymore. Marcus Thomas, he was actually the one that I did bring in at left back. He's actually decided to leave as well. He wanted to leave, even though he was starting every game. So I've decided to sell him. Take the 2.8 million pounds from Sheffield United. Schallenberg, 2.3 million pounds. He was just a backup centre mid who started with us. Unfortunately, he was like 33 now. I decided to just sell him on. We did, in fact, use that money to go and buy a new left back, seeing as two of our left backs left. Christiansen, 24 million pounds from Girona. 81 overall. He looks really, really really solid i'm really happy with him and the other player we signed was hun Wu lee from psg for 29 for 20.9 million pounds he is actually going to be playing right back for us again a similar player 81 overall or so i just decided that i just really didn't like the right back we currently had so i went out and decided to buy a right back and that has really improved our back line bringing both of these players in so this will be your team for season six and it's improving every season Loretz is doing really well, 80 overall. Lee is an 80 overall at right back. Christiansen, 81 overall. Sanchez up to a 78. Rubio up to 76. Really impressed with both of them. The midfield duo doing really, really well. It just is 30 years old, so I might have to look at a new holding midfielder for next season. And Bamba, age 24, 75. Again, he is slowly not really increasing in the ratings as well as everyone else is, but I'm just going to stick with him for now. He's been here since the start when we fight, signed him in season one. Biscoff, again, 
again, doing really, really well. Moulin, PSG bidded £160 million for him. I tried to get £250 million. They said that was too much. I'm only going to sell him for £200 million plus. I'm not selling him for anything less. Because once we do eventually sell him, which might be next season, if I'm honest with you, we can then go out and sign a lot of players to bolster this squad. But now we're going to dive into Season 6. We have Europa League football this season, like I said, hoping to try and get into the latter stages. And we're also going to try and do a cup run this season. I feel like we're just not progressing well enough in the cup. We've also got to try and keep ourselves in that top half and the top six of the Bundesliga. So without further ado, guys, let's get in to season six. Guys, I was just looking at the calendar, getting ready to see what games we had coming up. And as you can see, Schalke are in the Champions League. I don't know how this has happened because we finished sixth last season and I'm sure you get Conference League or maybe Europa League, but we've actually managed with Champions League football somehow. In my opinion, this squad is not ready for Champions League football just yet. But I mean, we've got it, so we just have to play in it and see how we get on. I am really surprised by that. I thought we were going to be getting Conference League, judging by the way the table was laid out at the end of the season. But nevertheless, we've got Champions League football to look forward to with Schalke. We're going to go through the season now and see where we end up. We are here at the end of Season 6, guys. And as you can see, Schalke have finished 5th in the Bundesliga. An improvement from last season's 6th place finish. Schalke have finished 5th with a total of 15 wins, 8 draws, 11 losses, 53 points only three points off the top four but as you saw previously we actually managed to qualify for the champions league whilst finishing sixth so i'm assuming now we've actually made champions league football once again which is an absolutely great achievement for schalke as you can see dortmund did win the league this time so the teams are changing between leverkusen dortmund and bayern munich hopefully within the next couple of seasons we can get ourselves in that top spot also in the division this season bochum heidenheim have gone down to the second division we want to check out our cup run as well. We've actually managed to finally get through the second round. We're beating Uno Berlin 4-0 in the second round. Oh my god, guys. Round three, we beat Bayern Munich at home 4-1. What an insane result that is. Okay, now guys, we've actually won the quarterfinals 1-0 against Freiburg. I'm starting to get a bit excited here because we are progressing very well in this tournament. We haven't won any trophies yet in this rebuild, unless you want to class the playoff relegation battle as a trophy. And into the semi-finals, and we won 1-0 against Heidenheim. Looks like we'll be playing Leipzig in the final. A massive achievement regardless if we win or lose. To finally get ourselves into a cup final is really good in Season 6. And we've done it. We won 3-1 against Leipzig in the cup final. The first trophy in this Schalke rebuild is the DFB Polka Cup. 3-1 winners against Leipzig. Really, really happy with that. Oh dear, guys. We came 33rd in the Champions League league phase, which means we didn't even make the playoffs. We got absolutely battered. We didn't even win one game. I think we've been humbled a little bit there in terms of the depth of the squad and how good the squad actually is compared to these other teams. As you can see, teams like Chelsea, Barcelona, Real Madrid, PSG, G, Milan, Napoli, all cruising through into the knockout stages. Just going over these fixtures here, Atletico Madrid beat Chelsea, PSG won on penalties against PSV, Juventus beat Man City, and Rangers actually went and beat Milan. Atletico Madrid beat Rangers, Juventus beat Real Madrid on aggregate, Marseille beat Arsenal, and PSG smashing Club Rouge 6-3. Semi-finals, PSG absolutely battered Atletico Madrid, and Marseille beat Juventus, so it's an all-French final. And PSG did in fact beat Marseille 3-2 on penalties to win the Champions League this season. Celtic beating Crystal Palace in the Europa League final. That's a funny one to see. And Manchester United won the Europa Conference League. 3-1 winners in that one. So now we turn our attention back to Schalke. And once again, Moulin was the top goal scorer for the season. 24 goals, 19 assists in 50 appearances. That is an insane return. Bischoff once again, 15 goals, 7 assists, 48 games played. Really solid season from him. He's already up to an 83 overall. Arankuda, 10 goals, 2 assists, doing a solid shift for us once again. Nice to see one of our youth players getting a lot of game time this season. 5 goals and 2 assists. So with that being said, we're going to have Champions League football once again next season. As you saw from before, the league phase, in the league phase, we got absolutely battered. So we really need to build on this squad. And in the next transfer window, we're going to have to try and buy some new players because we need to get some better players in. And that man Moulin on screen right now, now, I am tempted to maybe sell him this season. He's 23 and he's already an 88 overall. Big clubs are going to have to come in and spend a lot of money if they want to take him off our hands. That will be all said and done in Season 7. We finally won our first trophy of this Schalke rebuild, the DFB Holker Cup. Now we're going to try and hunt down that Champions League.
Champions League and the league title. Still got a good few seasons in us, I think. Without further ado, let's dive in to Season 7. So then, guys, in Season 7, it is finally time to sell Moulin. I'm sorry, he's 89 overall, 23 years of age. I'm, some people are probably going to hate me for selling him, but 245 million pounds. Someone we bought for like 11 million. I can't say no to that type of money. Do you know how many players I'll be able to buy that improve this squad massively to go into the Champions League to try and win the Bundesliga? I just had to accept it, guys. Unfortunately, he will be leaving to go to Atletico Madrid for £245 million. And here we have it, guys. It's a sad day at Schalke because Mullin is leaving. He is joining Atletico Madrid for £245 million. And there is confirmation, guys. £245 million from Schalke to Atletico Madrid. I mean, it's an absolutely insane deal. I'm really, really happy with the way that we've got the deal done for that price. It was valued at £134 million. We've sold him for £245. You can't get much better than that. As you can see, guys, we have £243 million to spend in this transfer window. I am going to go on an absolute shopping spree now. We obviously need a new striker to replace Moulin. We're going to look at a new holding midfielder, a new centre-back, and maybe a new goalkeeper. But for now, those are the three positions I want to go for. Let's go and get... Let's go after some players and try and spend as much as we can the first signing of season seven and the season seven rebuild with a lot of money is rasmus hoyland from aston villa obviously he plays for man united in real life 68.95 million pounds from aston villa we needed a new striker and we went out and got one 85 overall 27 years of age still got that pace great shooting really really good pickup in my opinion i think he's gonna do great for Schalke. the next signing comes into Schalke. a lot of money has been spent already but this player is going to be really, really worth it. Arthur Vermeeren comes in. £87.6 million spent for the 25-year-old. 87 overall. He looks like an absolutely insane player. I'm really happy with this pickup. As you can see, Kajuste is getting a bit older now. But he's going to come in and replace him in the midfield. The next signing is a massive centre-back signing. And another player who I've spent £60 plus million pounds on. Really, really excited with this one. He's going to go straight into the back line of that defence. And I'm really, really really happy with this signing a great player to add to this Schalke squad Christian Mosquera comes in for 65.5 million pounds from Manchester United age 26 86 overall he's going to go straight into the back line with that Sanchez who is also getting up the ratings I'm actually really excited to use this player 65.5 million pounds spent and it's a really good pickup 83 pace as a center back really looking forward to using him so then guys this is going to be the team for season seven I'm absolutely buzzing with this squad we have turned Schalke into a really really good team Loretz is still in goal 81 overall 27 years of age he's probably going to be the keeper for the next couple of seasons I may go out and get a new keeper next season but for now he is the main man in goal Lee at right back the 23 year old is doing really really well already up to an 82 rated really like the look of him Mosquera obviously he comes in as one of the new signings 86 overall 83 pace 26 years old I think he's going to be a really solid player at the back with Sanchez who is 26 80 overall now he's started off as a 68 overall with this Schalke side when we took over in season one and he's still here playing for us really happy with that Christiansen 27 years of age 81 pace 81 overall he's doing okay maybe in the next season or two I might look to bring in someone else but for now he is going to be playing at left back Vermeeren has come in 87 overall 25 years of age he looks like an absolutely insane player and Kajust will be playing with him 31 now 83 overall I'd probably say it's probably going to be last season playing or starting for us i think next season he's probably going to drop to the bench or we might look to sell him but for now the captain is still in the squad arankuda 81 overall 24 years of age he's still doing really really well for us he's obviously been here since season one when we signed him from bayern munich so i'm happy with the way he's progressing deal on the left 25 89 pace he has actually done really well since he first joined us again another one that i'm tempted to probably try and upgrade next season when we have some more money in the club but for now he has been playing okay and he's going to start for us at left mid Bischoff in behind Hoyland he has been so good for us since he joined 25 now and he's climbing up the ratings every season he's already up to an 84 and Hoyland the new striker 90 pace 85 shooting 87 physical I think he's gonna be a really good striker will he be as good as um Mullin probably not because Mullin was 23 and like 89 overall he was absolutely insane but looking at this squad now after selling Mullin I think it's a really I think it's just a good idea we, we sold him because we brought in three quality quality world-class players and I'm really happy with that. So without further ado, we're going to get into Season 7 now. We've already won the German Cup, the Polka Cup.
up. We've managed to qualify for the Champions League again, but last season we didn't even get out of the league phase. We've got our eyes set on chasing that top four finish. So without further ado, let's dive in to season seven. We have reached the end of season seven, and as you can see, guys, Schalke have finished third in the Bundesliga table. 19 wins, six draws, and nine losses for Schalke this season, finishing on 63 points. The only two teams in front of us were Dortmund and Bayern Munich once again. I'm really, really happy with this. This Schalke team has turned into an absolutely insane squad. And we're only a couple of points away from chasing that Bundesliga title now. Going to the bottom of the table now and Hamburg and St. Pauli have got relegated to Bundesliga 2. Schalke beat Dortmund in the German Super Cup. Second trophy, if you want to call it that. In this rebuild of Schalke beating Dortmund 2-1 in the Super Cup. We beat St. Pauli 2-1 in the DFB Polka 2-1 round 2. The third round saw us beat Heidenheim 1-0. We won 6-5 on penalties against Wolfsburg in the quarterfinals. Oh, and then unfortunately, guys, we got knocked out by Mudjengladbach 2-1. And they will face Bayern Munich in the final. So it looks like Schalke finished 13th in the league phase of the Champions League. It's a massive improvement from last season because we didn't even get to the playoff stage or the round of 16. As you can see, once again, teams like PSG, Dortmund, Madrid, City... Atletico Madrid all getting through to the round of 16. But judging by that, it looks like we are going to be in the playoff phase. And would you look at that, guys? We managed to beat Club Bruges 4-3 on penalties after a 2-2 aggregate draw. So that means we actually made it to the round of 16 in the Champions League, which is an absolutely insane improvement from last season. And would you look at that? We beat PSG 4-2 on aggregate to get us into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And we've only gone and got to the semifinals, guys. In the quarterfinals, we beat Atletico Madrid 3-4 on aggregate. 1-0 away from home in the second leg. Absolutely buzzing to see that. So we could either get Man City, Madrid or Milan in the semi-final. And oh dear, guys, as you can see, we got absolutely battered 6-1 on aggregate against Real Madrid. You know what? I don't mind that because we got to the semi-finals of the Champions League in Season 7 with Schalke. I was not expecting that type of run at all, but, uh, but I'm really happy with that. Real Madrid actually did end up winning the Champions League 2-1 against Milan. Atalanta absolutely smashed Porto 4-0 to win the Europa League. And Fiorentina have beaten West Ham 3-1 to win the Europa Conference League. So these were your stats for the end of the season. DL getting the most goals. 24 goals and 7 assists from left mid. He's up to an 83 now already. Age 26. One absolutely insane season from him. His best season for us so far. Hoyland, 22 goals, 3 assists, 53 games played. You know what? I'm not too worried about that. I think it's a really good return for his first season in the Bundesliga. Bischoff wants... Bischoff once again, 21 goals, 18 assists. One absolutely insane player. I'm really, really enjoying using Tom Bischoff. And he's only 25, so he's only going to improve. And then scrolling through the rest of the team, a lot of goals spread across the team this season. Youth player again getting another goal for himself. The Schalke have finished third in the Bundesliga. Great way to end season seven. I really am happy with that. And we got to the semi-finals of the Champions League as well. So next season, we're going to really try and push to win that league title and hopefully try and get ourselves to a Champions League final. I really do think we can try and challenge Dortmund and Bayern Munich next season for that league title. But without further ado, we're going to go straight into season eight with Schalke. We're kicking off season eight, guys, with a goalkeeper signing for £30 million. Michael Hoffman has joined from Stuttgart. He is replacing our goalkeeper. I feel like it was time to bring in a better goalkeeper, a younger and better goalkeeper. So Hoffman will be coming in. He will be the only transfer that we are going to make in season eight. I'm really liking this squad right now. I don't want to disturb it. The only player I'm going to bring in is a goalkeeper, and that is who we've brought in, Michael Hoffman. So as you can see, guys, Hoffman comes into the goalkeeping position. And the team will be unchanged, apart from obviously the goalkeeper. Some players here are looking really, really tasty now. Mosquera, 87 already, the first season he's been here. Vermeeren, 87 overall. Bischoff, 86. And then the two wingers are really improving now. They're really coming along in terms of the ratings. Hoyland's only 85, you know. Hopefully this season he can kick on and do a bit better than last season. But I have all faith in this squad to try and challenge for the Bundesliga against Bayern and Dortmund. Hopefully we can try and get another Champions League run. That would be really nice to see. So without further ado, guys, we're going to dive into Season 8 with Schalke and hope that we can try and get that Bundesliga title. We have got to the end of Season 8, guys, and Schalke have finished second. Another improvement on last season's finish. We have jumped Borussia Dortmund into second place. 
90 wins, 8 draws and 7 losses. And we ended on 65 points. I mean, look at Bayern Munich, man. They only lost 2 games the whole season. 80 points. We're still a long way away from getting that Bundesliga title. I think Bayern Munich are just that good. Nuremberg and Bochum both getting relegated into the Bundesliga 2. Unfortunately, guys, we only made it to the DFB Polka round 3. Werder Bremen beat us 3-2. And it sees us getting knocked out. Unfortunately, we can't win our second German Cup. A Champions League league phase. As you can see, guys, Schalke with 10. Four wins, two draws, two losses. So we're into the playoff positions once again. That is what the top half of the table looks like. We ended up beating Napoli 3-2 on aggregate. Really, really happy with that. Into the round of 16, Schalke go. And unfortunately, guys, we faced PSG and we lost 5-1 on aggregate. So compared to last season's semi-final finish, the round of 16 is the furthest we're going to get in this season 8 of the Champions League. These are your stats for the season. Rasmus Hoyland up to an 88 overall with 32 goals this season. He's climbed from an 85 to an 88 in one season. In his second season, he's climbed from an 85 to an 88 in two seasons with us, which is absolutely insane. And he's still only 29. Bischoff once again, 16 goals, 12 assists. Really good player in behind the striker. Only 26 years of age and he's 89 overall. Eel, 85 overall now. He's actually coming along really, really well and I'm really happy with him. He was one of those signings, kind of like Paredes at the start of the save, where I thought, you know, he was very cheap, low rated, and he was either going to bang or he wasn't. And compared to Paredes, who didn't do very well here, he has absolutely smashed it for us. Arankuda, again, 84 overall, 26 years of age. I've really enjoyed this player. I think he's been one of the best signings we've had, even though he's not the best in terms of the ratings, just the overall growth. He's come from like, what was it, like a 60 something rated to an 84. The Mirren, 88 overall now, and he's had 18 assists this season from central midfield. That is an absolutely great return. So there you have it, guys. Season 8, we see ourselves finishing second. We're chasing Bayern Munich for that league title. I honestly think we're one or two signs away from winning the league with Schalke. And then we need to try and get as far in the Champions League as we can. So without further ado, Season 8 is over. I'd say that's a successful season, finishing second. We're going to dive into Season 9 now and hopefully try and claim that Bundesliga title. We are now in season nine guys and i've decided to sign a new left back for Schalke. gabriel borges has come in from sevilla for 51.5 million pounds 25 years of age 84 overall christiansen as you can see is 29 82 overall i've decided to swap him out just looking at the team the team is looking really really good and i think the left back and the center back position are the areas i need to improve on but this season we've decided to go out and get a new left back borges comes in for 51.5 million pounds Pounds. We have also decided to sell Christiansen 31.4 million pounds. I thought, you know what? I'll take the money while I can. 31 million pounds has been put into the transfer budget, and now we're back up to around 40 to 50 million to spend. I'm tempted to go out and get a new holding midfield player. I've decided to do something big, guys. I've decided to bring in a new holding midfield player, and I've exchanged another player to go the other way. Pavlovic has come in from Leicester City for £37 million, and Kajust has gone to Leicester. The captain has officially left the club. Unfortunately, he was 33 now, and he was just going down in the stats and ratings. So I decided to go out and get someone a bit younger, 28 years of age, and he's 87 overall. Him and Vermeeren are going to be so good together in that midfield role really really happy with this signing and that will conclude the transfer window for season nine so season nine is here guys and look at this team i am absolutely buzzing to play with this squad look at the some of the players in here vermiran 88 overall pavlovich 87 bischoff 89 hoyland 88 mosquera 87 arancuda 85 now deal 85 on the left hand side lee at 85 at right back it's really come together this squad it looked absolutely insane i really do believe this this squad is good enough to win the Bundesliga this season. So without further ado, we're going to dive straight in to Season 9 and hopefully we can finally win that Bundesliga title. We are here at the end of Season 9, guys, and as you can see, Schalke have finally won the Bundesliga title. What an absolutely insane season. We finished on 84 points, 26 wins, 6 draws, and only 2 losses in the whole Bundesliga season. We have finally beaten Bayern Munich, Dortmund, Leverkusen to get to that Bundesliga title. Season 9 has been a long journey to get here but we have finally done it i am so happy really big achievement for this team i knew that we were 
eventually going to get there. It was either going to be this season or next season, but we've done it in season nine, which is absolutely amazing. We were three one winners in round two of the DFB Polka Cup. We then won three two against Dusseldorf away in the third round. We managed to beat Werder Bremen on penalties three one after a one all draw in the quarterfinals. We beat Bayern Munich two one in the semi finals, which means we will be playing Hamburg in the final. And we absolutely battered Hamburg in the final, guys, to make it two DFB Polka trophies for this rebuild of Schalke. It also means it is a cup double for the season, the league and the domestic cup. And wow, would you look at that? Schalke actually finished fourth in the league phase of the Champions League. Only Bayern Munich, PSG and Liverpool ahead of us here. I'm absolutely buzzing with that because we've improved every season we've been in the Champions League. This is the third time of asking in the Champions League, so hopefully we can try and get into the latter stages. That puts us straight through into the round of 16. And it looks like we beat Roma 2-1 on aggregate, 1-0 in the second leg at home in the round of 16. So that means we will be going into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And once again, we won 2-1 on aggregate, this time against Milan in the quarterfinals. We're now in the semi-finals of the Champions League, which is absolutely amazing. Some of the other teams like Monaco, Real Madrid and Lyon beating Bayern Munich are into the semi-finals as well. And we've only gone and done it, guys. We've beat Monaco 3-2 on aggregate and we will be facing Lyon, who actually beat Real Madrid in the final of the Champions League. So there you have it, guys. Schalke against Leon in the final of the Champions League in May 2033. What an insane season this could be. We could actually win the treble, the league title, the domestic cup and the Champions League all in one season in season nine. Before we do get into that Champions League final, look at the players that we have had this season. Before we do get into the Champions League final, I do want to show you the stats for the end of the season. I mean, look at some of these stats. Hoyland, 36 goals with seven assists in 56 games. He actually turned down to be a really good striker for us he's gone from an 85 to a 90 overall in what three seasons with us deal with 30 goals and eight assists he's an 80 overall now this is probably my signing of the whole rebuild because we signed him as like a what a, like an 80 overall if that and he has turned into an absolute beast for us and he was so cheap as well which makes it even better Fishkov is in 92 overall, 22 goals, 23 assists from 56 games. That is an insane return. What a player he has turned into. Arankunda up to an 87 now. He joined us when he was 18. 56 games played, 21 goals, 5 assists. And Sanchez, our centre-back, has scored 11 goals with 5 assists this season. What is going on here? Osquera also getting 3 goals from centre-back. Pavlovic getting 7 goals and 8 assists from midfield, which is really nice to see. So overall, I am absolutely buzzing with these stats for the season. And some of the players have been absolutely insane. I mean, the numbers just don't lie, do they? We won the cup double, the league, domestic cup. And I mean, I can just see where it's come from. These, these four players have been absolutely insane for us. But they have one more job to do. We have to try and win the Champions League against Lyon first to make it a treble season for Schalke in season nine. But here we go, guys. This is going to be the lineup for the Champions League final against Lyon. Hoffman and goal. Lee at right back. Mosquera and Sanchez at centre back. Borges at left back. Deal and Aran Kunda on the wings. Vermeeren and Pavlovic are going to be our two holding midfielders. Absolutely insane returns on these guys. 89 and 87 overall. Really happy with the way they've turned out for us. Ishkov, 92 overall. I mean, this guy looks insane. He has been the player of probably the rebuild in terms of how good he's been. And we've got Hoyland up top. 95 pace, 90 shooting. He is going to be an absolute gem for this final. I can feel it already. Without further ado, we're going to dive straight in to the Champions League final against Leon. Great run from Deal down the left-hand side. Oh, that's brilliant from him. He's going to cut inside, cut back outside, get the shot away with his left foot. Oh, it's saved by the keeper. That's a great save down low. Lee with a great tackle. Can he find Bischoff? Yes, he can. Can he find Lee? Yes, he can. It's Lee from right back. The right back's... Oh, he's put it wide. He's put it wide, guys. Lee should have scored there. I mean, look at this for the chance. Oh, he's put it wide. How? So close from the right back. All played through. Bischoff's through. Can he get the shot away? Tight angle. Saved again by the keeper. He's made a couple of good saves so far. Hoyland's that. He's got the ball. Trying to wait for that run of Bischoff. Bischoff's in. Bischoff touch. Oh, we can't get the shot on target. Hoyland. Oh, Bischoff's won the ball back. No way. Bischoff's in. 81st minute. It's Bischoff. And he scored. What a goal from Tom Bischoff. What were the Leon defence doing there? They were just passing the ball round for ages. And he's just literally just given the ball to Bischoff. And Bischoff has scored the goal to surely win the Champions League final for 
Schalke. Oh, he's done so well with the high press there. Absolutely insane. All the way through on goal, Tom Bischoff. No one's catching him. He smashes it into the back of the net. And Schalke lead 1-0 in this Champions League final. Surely the last chance for Leon to get the ball forwards. They're just keeping the ball at the back here. And surely that's going to be full-time referee. And it is. Schalke have... Schalke have won the Champions League trophy. We only beat Leon 1-0. But a, a mistake at the back for Leon has cost them the Champions League. Bischoff getting the goal in the 83rd minute to secure the Champions League trophy for Schalke. This has been one of my favourite rebuilds to do so far in FC25. Schalke have won the treble, we won the Bundesliga, the Polka Cup, and now the Champions League in Season 9. That makes it four trophies for this rebuild with Schalke. Really impressive stuff. And as you can see, guys, your Champions League winners are Schalke in Season 9. We have finally won the Champions League. Absolutely buzzing. Some of the players to shout out in this rebuild. Tom Bischoff, the man that scored the winning goal. Keel at left mid, he was absolutely insane. Picked him up for so cheap and he turned out to be an absolute beast. Aran Kunda as well. Pick came as an 18-year-old boy and is now a 27-year-old man. Absolutely insane stuff. So this will be the end of the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy this rebuild. I absolutely love this Schalke rebuild. Really, really did enjoy this one. Make sure to comment teams you want me to rebuild in future videos. I will make sure I list all of them and try and rebuild as many as possible. Subscribe if you're new around here. I really do appreciate the support so far in FC25. It's been absolutely insane. And without further ado, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.